Hi guys, my name is Rondell Lynch from Waterponics and today I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong with our aquaponics system. Alright, um, firstly let me apologize if there's any wind noise, it's always quite windy here in St. George and secondly let me apologize for the lack of videos uh, that I've put up in the past few, I don't know what's this, months, been really busy working on, on some other projects, a few big ones so if you guys are interested, you could go ahead and check those out on our Facebook page it's under the name Waterponics or you can follow us on Instagram So, today I'm going to talk about everything that's wrong with um, our aquaponics system and then in another video following this one, I'm going to talk about what we're going to do to address the issues before I begin by talking about what's wrong, let me tell you about the history of this aquaponics system. It's a year old. Last month, June, uh, it would have been a year old, so it's not quite a year and a month as yet. A year old and a couple of weeks. So, here we have a fish tank. It's a full IBC tote, and you have five other grow beds and a sump tank. If you want to see a video of the tour of the aquaponics system, I'll put a link in the description. So, after the water leaves the fish tank, it comes down into the swirl filter, into the bio filter from the swirl filter, into the bio filter here, and it comes out into this recently added filter. Before that, in the beginning, we had an elbow coming down here and then another elbow here going that way and it came all the way down here and it went down here into the sump tank and it, the idea was it's water and it's moving and it's traveling so I converted it into an FT system so basically I drilled some holes inside of the pipe and I put these small net pots in and we grew some plants inside of there. Now, I have learned so much in the year that I have built this system. I can't even begin to describe the amount of knowledge and information that I have acquired from doing some research and also from my own experiences. So, the biggest problem with that, well, the major problem is the 2 inch pipe is really too small, the diameter of it is really too small, I would not recommend using below 3 inch pipe for an NFT system, alright? Ideally 4 inch, if you're a backyard hobbyist, but yep, a 3 inch could work if you're a backyard hobbyist, but ideally 4 inch, and you know, I think not quite sure but I think commercial systems use 6 inch but 4 inch works fine but not 2 inch the reason being the roots clogged up the the flow of the water along that pipe the channel of the pipe so imagine so imagine roots like this here coming out of inside of a coming out inside of a 2 inch pipe like this you already see the, the problem that's going to cause there so when the water is trying to flow, um, these roots will stop the flow of the water and the, the water has nowhere else to go besides up through, up through these um, the very holes that you put, you drilled to put the pots in. So that was a major issue. So immediately we were, I was realizing problems with that so I took it out and what I did is I replaced it with a pipe coming from here. I reduced it down to one inch here. And then an elbow that came up here, it actually had a little loop and it came up here and it fed grow beds one and two. 
So the water is coming straight from the bio filters into Grobez 1 and 2. At which point I realized that Grobez 1 and 2 were doing really well. And I would dare to say they're doing significantly better than Grobez 3, which didn't have any water coming from the bio filter but straight from the sump. So I put that directly due to the fact that the water is coming from the biofilter which has all the um which houses all the bacteria that convert the that convert ultimately the ammonia into the nitrates which is what the plants use so so however i changed it again so i could add this filter so over the past year we've been I've, I've, I've done a lot of changes to the plumbing of the system um, just trying to make it better every time in addition to that this was designed to be a, a jewel feed all the beds were well not all these three beds were designed to be jewel feed um, let me explain so if you see over there you see one ball valve there another one there and another one there and those three are currently the primary feeds. Before, this also had a next set of pipe coming from here, straight down that way, with um, with with one, two, three other ball valves. So what that does is it allow the system to get a uh, water flow from all the grow beds to get water flow from either side. And there's those were I can't remember if those no those weren't venturis but these two are venturis if you see the little pipe coming up there and that's to put oxygen into the water however for venturis to work you have to have adequate water flow through side pipe and that's something that I will talk about shortly as well so the problem was was the pump wasn't powerful enough to do the dual feed and still get the water up to the highest part of the system which is that fish tank over there do mind this nylon card here I'll explain the reason for that shortly so this 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 pipe travels all the way up here and while it feeds all the tree grow by it also feeds the fish tank comes up through here into the spray bar where these guys live so the pump was in the pump wasn't powerful enough to get that high as well as you know is you were asking too much of too much of the capabilities of the pump so it just wasn't working so since then of course off that jewel that jewel feed on uh, this side and left the side that had the venturis and I have the pipe was still it was still here but it 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 wasn't working so all the valves were closed and there's a main shutdown valve from here that stopped it from going this way anyway oh i forgot to mention that the pipe ran from there straight along here with three ball valves and it also went into here and this was supposed to be another venturi that would put oxygen into this biofilter although it's not a moving bed biofilter I, I still um, wanted to add some extra oxygen into this biofilter since then that has been replaced with an ear stone um, uh, which is no longer in there at the moment because that is that's one of the ear pumps that has malfunctioned I am yet to replace it. So, what's happening here now? So that didn't work either because, as as you could see, the problem with that is that you're asking the pump to climb again. If it wouldn't even come around here to this point, so I would ask to ask it to come up here and go into there, and with the pressure that you need, especially to operate a venturi. So here are some venturis. I think I already had a video explaining how those work. So here we go. 
so you see all the bubbles and stuff the agitation going on there that's because of this down tree you can actually hear the air being sucked down through this pipe so try not to make this video too long but it's it's impossible it really is a lot to it really is a lot I really do have a lot to say sorry so I think what I'm gonna do is make this part one so this is the history of the aquaponic system so in the next part we're going to talk about what's wrong at this present time <laughs>